could you actually knock a plane out of the sky or, or hit a soldier who are attacking you on the war front? The magnetrons in radar systems generate short microwaves when electrical energy is run through them. This electromagnetic radiation is harmless in small quantities, as the microwaves are too long to damage biological tissues. But if the microwave's length could be shortened, prolonged exposure heats the body's tissues, causing burning or even cataracts. The KUGO research team posited that to create a lethal dose of electromagnetic radiation, they would need a new type of powerful magnetron. The Japanese hoped that it would be a super weapon that they could use to uh, stop uh, invading troops and to knock enemy aircraft out of the sky, which became a larger issue as the war progressed because eventually Japan lost air supremacy over its own country as uh, the U.S. Army Air Corps and U.S. Naval forces began to dominate the sky. In pursuit of this goal, Japanese officials invested around half a million U.S. dollars in 1940, approximately 10 and a half million U.S. dollars today.